summer has barely kicked off, but we are already talking about a front runner for the hottest Christmas toy, Fingerlings. Plastic pets that you can hang on your finger. They've quickly become the top toy selling out at retailers across the nation. I thought they were potatoes. It's not. It's, <laughs> you put them on your finger and it's yeah. a toy. It's a toy really and they're fun. only $15. So they're kind of the Hatchimals of this year. They're kind of like, this seems to be the trend with to uh, mm -hmm. toys where there's something physical where it's still cute and you can play with it and be a kid with a toy. Mm -hmm. But it also has like a little learning component sure. where it learns and it's kind of a little robotics in there. I think that's cool. There's nothing wrong with video games, but it is nice to not have everything be a video game that's that's popular. It's funny when you see a toy take off though, because I, it, last year eBay sold, sold a Hatchimal yeah. every 30 seconds. Wow. Every 30 seconds. That's crazy. And Hatchimals, of course, has launched the, uh, I think it's called the Hatchimal Supreme. Oh. oh. Maybe Pretty snooty. Bigger. I'm not quite sure what the difference is between the old Hatchimal and the is new Hatchimal. Is it a fancier egg, maybe? I, is I it think, poached? It's a Fabergé. <laughs> it's I think the biggest thing is maybe you'll be able to get it this year that they'll oh, produce enough. Sure. Because there's always a surprise, right? And with this finger, finger fingerlings. The fingerlings. The fingerling. Uh, already, Play the video some, again. I just love you know, it. it's out. Like some of the places are out of it already. Mm. Walmart wow. says they, they're like, we knew that this was going to be big, and they said they have enough inventory, they'll be okay. But well, we'll that's see. good. Yeah. Yeah. For you. So um, let's talk about what makes a hot toy. Like when you think back to your childhood, Kylie, <sighs> was there certain that certain things yes. that made you? Yes, there was. Okay. There was a certain moment in my childhood when I saw a commercial, mm. and I wanted this so badly. It's the clueless, hands-free. Uh, headset. Oh my god. Based on the movie uh, Clueless? <laughs> no, it's just pink. No, it is based oh, is on it? the movie Clueless. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you didn't, know, you didn't know that? I think I, I was young when this came out. I don't yeah. even think I knew. Show, That's too at funny. the end of the commercial, they show the little <laughs> name of it. It's called Clueless because of the I movie. I had no idea. Yeah. I just, well, anyway, I wanted that so badly. <laughs> Whole nother level of weird now. <laughs> So why did you I think it was, why did you think it was called it. Clueless? I, I never thought about it. I, it was just I thought it was the name of the toy. I thought it was the name. Well, I mean, no, who doesn't do? want like that? I wanted a, yeah. a little toy microphone. Oh, Mr. Microphone. Mr. Microphone. But look, now you have was. your own microphone. <laughs> yeah, they don't oh, let me keep it. They get so mad when I take it. <laughs> uh, but I like to play the home game sometimes, and I host little programs in my house. Oh. You know, as a kid, I had a little microphone that had an antenna on it, and you could play it through your the FM, FM radio. radio. I, yep. Wow. And I literally burned those things out. I'm sure my like elementary school classrooms were like. This bit of like you interviewing me on recess is not. <laughs> we're over it, Darasha. No. Mine was far more low tech. It was the Flintstone. It wasn't Flintstones brand. It was called Cozy Coop, but it was essentially a Flintstones car where you put your feet through the thing and you just walked. <laughs> Uh, oh, never funny. got it, mm. mom and dad. Still wow. bitter about it. Wow. I'm nearly a 40 year old man. So, yeah, but I'm with you. I, I never <laughs> got my headset. Yeah, really, never got your headset. Never got the headset. It explains no. so wow. much. <laughs> Wow. About meteorologists in general, yeah. very, damaged yeah, just individual. Very, very damaged individual. Very damaged. I'm going to tread lightly around you too, since we've it's ripped a, open this wound. The feelings are yeah. all here. It's a all it's right. a gloomy day. Okay. You know, we need some sunshine.